ハッピーハロウィンイエーイハロウィン My name is Hiroki I'm the producer of War of the Visions Final Fantasy Brave Exvius Global Version And hello everyone, my name is Justin I am the community manager for War of the Visions Final Fantasy Brave Exvius Global Version、uh, War of the Visions Final Fantasy Brave Exvius is a new tactical RPG Born from the Final Fantasy Brave XBS universe, and it is now available on the Apple App Store, the Amazon App Store, and Google Play. Due to the COVID 19 situation, we are not shooting this video from a studio. We are recording this video remotely. Yep, and in this video, we'll be talking about the all new units being released and some other things that we hope everybody out there will enjoy. By the way, Hiroki, that is an interesting、mm-hmm. costume that you're wearing today. <laughs> It's quite different from the scary one that you were wearing last year. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. So many people said that was scary. So、uh, I tried something cute this time. Well, I think it looks <laughs> a lot cuter this time around. <laughs> Thank you. You look, you look nice too, Justin. <laughs> Thank you very much. Hopefully, players know what, I, what my outfit is.、Uh, but let's get started. So, what is the first topic today, Hiroki? Yeah,、uh, I think、uh, we should talk about the new Halloween unit. All right, sure. Now, let's start by going over a new seasonal unit, Frederica Halloween. She is an Earth type UR unit with a cost of 90. Among units that specialize in evasion, Frederica Halloween boasts top class physical attack capabilities. Carving Carnival raises her slash attack resist piercing rate and deals large damage and has a chance of inflicting blind for three turns. This means that not even targets with resistance to slash attacks will be safe. And with blind inflicted, evading attacks will be all the easier. So I can see why Federica Halloween is special. Yeah. Her ability, Ready to Engage, increases the area attack resistance of allies within the area around her and gives her the ability to recover AP whenever she lands critical hits. Both of these effects last for three turns. With this, she can activate abilities one after another without running out of AP, which is perfect for a frontline attacker. She also has missile resistance, so she's an effective choice against long range attackers like Jaden Rundle as well. Next up, we have the vision card Halloween Monsters. This card is designed to enhance evasion. I recommend trying it out on Friedrika Halloween and raising her evade stat even higher. Finally, the global version update of this vision card will provide individual enhancements for each of the Halloween units you can see in the illustration Friedrika, Rairu, and Little Lila. Thank you, Justine. I hope everyone enjoyed the Halloween event! <laughs> okay, moving on to our main topic.、Uh, we have a new unit to show you. a b e r o n Hydra! Yay! Awesome! <laughs> okay, so first, have a look at this. I wish to see him in his glory. As the one true ruler of Ardra. The dragon's spear pierces the heavens. With all my might, this is where you fall. Lights of the world. My s i d e is this. Behold, the dragon's might. Yay! Yeah. Yay! Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Look again, look again. <laughs> nice. So now that's a stylish limit burst, right? Oberon Heinler is an Earth type unit of UR rarity with a cost of 100. His main job is Young Dragon King, and his sub jobs are Viking and Nightblade, which make him a capable Vanguard striker. His unique job, Young Dragon King, offers abilities that reduce Earth resistance and Pierce attack resistance, so he can deal massive damage. He also has access to a barrier ability that increases his durability, which means he is capable of handling a variety of situations in battle. There are three points that especially deserve attention his limit burst with a powerful debuff, abilities that improve his durability, and Trustmaster equipment, 
dragon fang pauldrons. We'll go over them one at a time. First up, let's have a look at his limit burst. Eight Path Dragon Shine lowers all types of elemental resistance of targets within range for three turns, then deals large damage. As it lowers resistance to all elements, Oberon is able to deal solid damage to any opponent regardless of their elemental match. The Limit Burst also has good range, making it quite powerful overall. Next, let's look at Oberon's abilities that increase his durability. His ability, Purple Dragon's Providence, raises the critical evasion rate and area attack resistance of allies within the area around him for three turns. Purple Dragon's Shield creates a barrier on him that reduces physical and magical damage for up to three hits. With these abilities, Oberon is not only a hard hitter, but also a unit who can endure both physical and magical attacks. He also uses Pierce attacks, which means he can be quite effective against units with a lower Pierce resistance, such as Helena Black Robe Witch. Lastly, we have his Trust Master equipment, Dragon Fang Pauldrons, which comes with the ability Presence of the Dragon. This ability allows Oberon to nullify haste and reduce critical hit rate for all enemies on the map for two turns, and raises his own attack for three turns. So if you're up against time mages that can apply haste, such as Gilgamesh or Lemire, you'll find this ability very helpful. No haste for the entire map? That's amazing. And if you put Oberon in a party with Frederica Halloween, the unit we mentioned earlier, you can do a real number on your enemy's resistances. You have Oberon's Limit Burst, which reduces all elemental resistances, and Frederica Halloween's Trustmaster equipment ability, Sneaky Snuggles, which debuffs unit attack resistance. Combine them and your party can dish out huge damage. Oberon and Frederica Halloween both have missile resistance, so they also make for a good matchup against missile units like Jaden Rundall and the regular UR Frederica. Oberon is a very strong unit, so I hope everyone can get their hand on him and try him out in battle. Okay, next, we would like to introduce the story event in the name of Hope. Justin, please explain. With pleasure. This story is about Lycoros and Fenis scheming to take down the small but allegedly impenetrable nation of Farm, both with their own objective in mind. There's also a mystery girl in the story you'll want to keep an eye out for. Among the rewards you can acquire from this event are Elemental Spear Crafting Recipes. This weapon raises the damage of Pierce Attacks and Earth Attacks, making it a perfect fit for the unit we just talked about, Oberon Heinlein. This weapon is not to be missed out on. We've also got a raid event to talk about that's starting on November 10th. Get ready for the Igion raid. Since Igion's element is lightning, having Oberon in your party will make life a lot easier. In this raid, you can obtain Azure Dragon Armor Crafting Recipes. The Azure Dragon Armor is a fantastic item that bestows Berserk Resistance and Charm Resistance, so definitely try equipping it to Oberon as well. Aigayo is tough, but you can get the crafting recipe if you all work together. I hope you will enjoy the story and raid event. On to the next section. The Q&A Corner! Yay! My favorite part. In this section, we will answer questions from you, the viewers, that were left in the comments section of our show. So let's get to it. Here is the first question. Any plans about a hard quest list for vision card shards like the unit one we already have? Oh, okay. The answer is... Yes! We hope to add in during November, so please wait just a little longer. All right, thank you. That is excellent news. I know people are going to be very happy for that. I'm really looking forward to this being added. Uh, so let's go on to the next question here. Why don't the men of War Divisions FFBE get to celebrate summer? Okay, that is good question. So we have been sent many similar requests from players. So we have discussed this with the development team. We would love to add some to next year's summer unit. Please look forward to more news about that. Uh, that sounds really great. It really makes you wonder who will be putting on a summer outfit next time around. I can't wait to find out who it is. Yeah. Keep an eye for next 
Ear News. All right, thank you very much. And let's go on to the next question here. How do you plan on making SR and lower tier units viable for high level PVE and or PVP? Blossoms are not endless to try a unit. It seems like a waste just for one type of content, elemental quests. Remake the unit stats is an option. MO and lower unit become specialized in one area when you fully train them. Also, they can be useful in PvE and the PvP activities. They can also play an effective role in cost-restricted formation. That's right. So, for example, the Time Mage Phoebe, when fully enhanced, her ability Quicken becomes easier to use in various situations. We'd love to see you all trying out different units. I also hold the War of the Visions FFBE community stream with Justin and friends every month on Twitch and play friendly matches with the viewers. It would be cool to see some of you add SR units and others to your parties when you participate. We are not considering remaking unit stats for the unit mentioned at the moment. But there is a chance that some units will be re released at the UR unit. Like with Zazan the Unkillable. I bet it would be a pretty fun to do something like last time where we had a character poll to ask players' opinions. We could maybe decide on which unit to upgrade based on feedback or something like that. Of course, if any of you have recommendations for which MR or lower units would be good candidates to train, please do share them in the comments, those units' names, and how everyone can make the most of their strengths. Thanks to everyone for posting such great questions. If anybody else has any questions, please post them in the comments section with the hashtag WOTVQA. Our team takes a look at all the questions and hopefully we can answer them in future videos. Okay, we have one more announcement to make. On November 10th, Pacific Time, a War of the Visions community livestream will be held on Square Enix's official Twitch channel. In this livestream, a guest and I will take on some events, share some feedback from the community, and more about once a month. For our fifth broadcast, I think we'll be trying out a friendly match. We'll also be giving out in-game rewards to all players depending on how many views we can get. More views means better in-game rewards, so please invite your friends to watch as well. Details will be posted on our social media at a later date, so be on the lookout for those, and I hope to see all of you there. So, I think we're coming to the end. Time is almost up, Hiroki, but do you have anything you'd like to f leave the players with before we finish? <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you asked. Uh, as is custom, we are giving everyone special items to celebrate the release of this video. The detail will be shown on your screen. Awesome, thank you very much as always. If you like this video, please hit like, subscribe to our channel, leave a comment, or share on social media. Make sure to tune into the next episode, and thank you everybody for watching this episode. And without further ado, bye bye. Bye bye. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween.